Hello Royalty, good morning and welcome to our touch point today. My name is God Gift Austin, your regular host and anchor to this channel. Like we used to do it, we pick our topics, we deliberate on them scripturally to find out the mind of God in those areas that were raised and how we should respond uh, to them. And in so doing, those burdens, those questions that have lingered over in our heart that seems to have defied answers are tackled. I'm very much convinced that your own question has been handled in this platform. So I want to encourage you to keep looking into this perfect law of liberty with us as we go through this on a daily basis. And I know too well that your testimony is around the corner. God bless you this morning. We have been talking about, uh, which we started yesterday, admission and exclusion. And the first question that was asked yesterday was, what should we admit? We, we highlighted three things. We should admit our sins. We should admit that Jesus is the Lord of our lives. And we also admit that uh, our dependency is on Jesus. Praise the Lord. So this morning, we continue from where we stopped. And the next question we are going to be asking is, what is the importance of admitting our mistakes? Why should we admit our mistakes? Or rather, why should we confess our sins? Praise the Lord. So we'll look at it. The first Bible that we're going to read is in Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 13. It said, Only knowledge you are only acknowledge your guilt. Admit that you rebelled against the Lord your God. Confess that you refused to listen to my voice. I, the Lord, have spoken. Confess that you refused to listen to my voice. I, the Lord, have spoken. What does it mean there? Confess our sins, or confessing our sins is admitting that we have rebelled against God, our King and Creator. We must confess it. Confess and acknowledge that we have both rebelled against him. In 1 John 1 verse 10, the Bible said, If we claim we have not sinned, we are calling God a liar and showing that his word has no place in our hearts. Of course, you know we have sinned. So admitting our sins is agreeing with God on our sin and what we should do about it. Only when we recognize that we are sinners are we ready to deal with our sins. You must admit. That's why the Bible says what? Settle with the adversary. Make peace with the adversaries. You must agree. Whatever accusation the enemy is bringing to you, agree to them all. But you must remember that your advocate, Jesus Christ, had paid it all for you. So he paid completely. So admitting that you are sin doesn't mean you are a sinner. But admitting that you are sin means that you also acknowledge that somebody, which is Jesus Christ, has taken away the reward and the reproach of that sins. Praise God. So in Psalm 51, 1 to 2, the Bible said, Have mercy, O God, because of your unfailing love, because of your great compassion, blot out the stain of my sins, wash me clean from my guilt, purify me from my sin. Amen. So Acts chapter nine, chapter three, verse nineteen, the Bible said, "Now repent of your sins and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped away." All right. So also in in Proverbs chapter twenty eight, verse thirteen, the Bible said, "People who conceal their sins will not prosper." Yes, but if they confess and turn from them, they will receive mercy. In other words. Trying to hide our sins leaves them to fester. But when we confess our, our sins or admit them to God, He will mercifully forgive us and make us pure in His sight. Alright, so in 2 Samuel 12, verse 13, Then David confessed to Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. Nathan replied, Yes, but the Lord has forgiven you, and you won't die for this sin. That is all the truth. When we confess, we will be spared. Amen. So in Psalm 32, verse 3 and 5, 
When I refused to confess my sin, my body wasted away and I groaned all day long. Finally, I confessed all my sin to you and stopped trying to hide my guilt. I said to myself, I will confess my rebellion to the Lord and you forgave me all my guilt is gone. Praise God. So how can we ask God to forgive our sins until we release, we freely admit to him that we want his forgiveness? And how can we do that until we freely admit to him that we have sinned? This is the question we'll be dealing the next time we meet. But now I want us to pray together. You are here. You still want God to forgive you. You have not acknowledged that you have sinned. You have not admitted that. Actually, it wasn't because you, you could see anything you did. But the fact is that if it was not for your sin or the sin of Adam on your behalf, Jesus would not have died. So you need to acknowledge that what Jesus did for you on the cross of Calvary. And you want to acknowledge it by allowing him to reign into your life. Can you just pray this prayer with me and say, Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. Forgive me my sins. I acknowledge that I have sinned against you. Wash me by your blood. Clothe me by your garment of praise from henceforth. Breathe upon me the breath of life, O God. Give me a fresh start and a new beginning. I want to live and reign with you in eternity. Satan, take your feeding hands off my life. You did not make me. You cannot keep me. My life belongs to Jesus, and unto him I have come today. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have prayed this prayer with me, I want to say a big congratulations to you. It is because of you that the hosts of heaven, they are rejoicing right away. And I want to encourage you to keep listening to these messages. Keep feasting in the word of God and the things the Lord is doing in this place. Your testimony is about to be known or to be heard. Alright, so and to my listeners all over the world, I want to encourage you. Keep listening, keep doing, keep sharing. And I know too well that as the Lord keeps rewarding us, your own reward will not delude you. He will wash your feet and you will soar higher. In Jesus' name we pray. Have a beautiful and a fruitful bow week ahead of you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you all.